What up you guys, Slim here of Team Purple Panda, and I'm redoing the Fish OTK deck uh, that I had already profiled from before. Uh, I wasn't personally happy with the uh, way the profile came out, I think the lighting in the room was really bad. And I know a lot of people were like, oh it's okay, but you know, I'm a real stickler uh, for perfection when it comes to these videos. So I decided, you know, I went around my house a couple times and I thought, you know, I need a room where I can get a lot of light. So uh, in case anyone's wondering, we are in my crib, we're in my house, uh, those are my shutters. Uh, yeah, I like my shutters. Uh, what's going on? I have a friend Geo here. Yeah. Uh, we got, uh, we got, that's my car out there with more shutters, you know. It's a nice house. It's where Slim chills. It's a good place. Um, it's also the best lighting in the, in the whole house, pretty much. Like, one of the best rooms. So I felt, you know, it's more appropriate that we, uh, do the profile here. Uh, so I'm going to end this real quick, but before I do, uh, everybody knows me. I don't like to take credit for something that is not originally mine. Uh, this deck was first profiled uh, by a guy named uh, Bahamut, I believe. It was called Bahamut's uh, Perfected Perfection or something like that. Something about fish. And, um... He was uh, the one that first showed this combo with Trishula and everything. Uh, so credit goes, of course, to him. This is not my original idea. Um, and credit also goes to my friend Michael Bonaccini of the Death Aspect blog. He um, has profiled this deck on his channel already, and he is known pretty much for writing all about this deck. And credit, of course, goes to him because I learned how to use this deck and its combos from him. So a uh, big shout-out to him. So. Uh, uh, those are my shout outs, so I'm going to go into the deck right now. So first we have three super ancient deep sea king qualicant, big fish. Uh, you need him for the OTK, obviously. Uh, he's amazing. 2800 beaters, not bad either. Um, just as important as Oystermeister. Oystermeister uh, sets up for the combos uh, real quickly. When he dies, uh, not by battle, you get a token. It's really good. It's very important in this OTK because you do synchro with him a lot. He's also uh, very important, and actually in the first turn of, of the game, if you go first, you want to summon Oyster Meister or another fish to protect Qualicanth from getting hit by Valor. Uh, just as important, uh, Fishboard Blaster, three of them. It's your tuner, you need to use it. Not even going to go into more detail, you have to use it. And uh, the one little fish that could, uh, Deep Sea Macrochema. People are wondering what Deep Sea Macrochema is? Don't worry about it. If you're going to run this deck, pick one up. They're not that hard to find. I actually found one up at uh, the store where we're sponsored. All you need to know is level one needs a fish. That's all. That's all you need for this deck. So uh, yeah, the frog engine. We got three swap frogs. Swap frog is amazing. Um, being able to pitch a, uh, being able to be special summoned by discarding a water monster. Pretty much, he you loads your graveyard. Plus, he bounces back to the hand, which is amazing. Gotta run him. I uh, got two dupe frog for defense. Two thousand defense is really good. It's searching ability for swap frog, and it's combo with rodent totem. That's why you run dupe frog. It's the setup if you don't actually draw the OTK in your opening. Uh, one Treeborn. Now, there's only one Treeborn because uh, this is not Frog Monarchs. Uh, we do not rely on a uh, recurring Treeborn to win. Uh, Treeborn's just there, like I said, uh, kind of like Dupe Frog and Rodent Tone, just to stall out if we don't draw the stuff. Uh, Rodent Tone, of course, uh, 2000 Defense. Uh, his recurring effect, uh, if you have to tribute to summon Qualicanth, which usually you don't want to do, but you know, sometimes the situation sets up like that. So Rodent Tone's in there. He's a good card. Plays the water. And the uh, last two monsters are two level leader. Uh, level leader is really important. Uh, you cannot OTK without level leader here. Uh, so if you're going to run this deck, you need to run level leaders. You have to run at least two of them. If you, don't, if you run less than two, you're not going to draw it and you're not going to win. You have to have level leader in the graveyard for your OTK to go off. Uh, we're getting the spells. There are no traps for this deck. So it's uh, 19 monsters, 21 spells. So uh, we have uh, three gold sarcophagus and three DDR. Uh, these two cards right here are actually what you really hope to open with. If you open with these two cards, 95% of the time you will pull off the OTK and you will win. Uh, I'll explain uh, in my next video. This is only part one of the Fish OTK discussion deck list. And uh, this is just to go over the deck profiles so people can get an idea of what's going on. And in the next video, I'll explain how these combos work. But uh, these two cards, uh, remember them, Gold Sark and DDR are very important. Especially if you draw them together, you can win. Next we have... Uh, three, uh, Symbols of Heritage. Uh, Symbols of Heritage is really important because, uh, when you have, like, multiples in your, uh, deck or in your graveyard, uh, such as Qualicanth or, uh, Deloran Formula, which is actually what this card is used for, you want to, uh, use this card, and that's how the OTK goes off. So, uh, Symbols of Heritage, another really important card that, uh, many players overlook. Uh, next, Monster Born. Uh, Monster Born is obvious. I don't have to go into why you run it. Um, three upstart, uh, we go into the draw engine, we got three upstart goblin. Uh, you don't care about life points. Uh, life points are not the matter in this, uh, this deck. The main thing you're trying to do is draw into your pieces, so that's why upstart is there. Uh, next we got three hand destruction, basically the same thing. Uh, draw a card, discard card, set up your graveyard. Uh, Moray, because of water monsters, and it's a great card, you know, you send back two, draw three, that's awesome. You, uh, you don't really plus yourself, but you know, it's really cool. And I like this card, it's like a respite. 
Um, one giant tree nade, obviously everyone knows why I love giant tree nade. I've said it in like every deck. Uh, this sets up for your OTK. And uh, last spell is Foolish Burial. Uh, main thing you want to Foolish Burial? Level Eater. Uh, if you don't open with Level Eater, you need to get that sucker in the grave, and that's how the OTK sets up. So, uh, yeah, that's the main deck, you guys. I'm going to go into the si uh, extra deck real quick. Now, uh, before I go into the extra deck, um, I actually do not have uh, two of the main synchros for this deck on me right now. So I'm going to just, uh, so no one gets confused. I'm actually going to show them to you right now. Uh, first one is Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Uh, Trishula uh, is amazing. I actually don't have my Trishula. I let my friend use it. So I'm just going, I'm on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki. I'm just showing you guys that we do run Trishula. And um, you actually Trish spam your opponent in order to win. You basically empty their entire hand, which is amazing. So uh, that's one of the cards. The next card I don't have yet because I haven't got my hands on it yet, but is a Tech Genesis Hyper Librarian. Hey, everyone knows why Librarian's amazing. I don't even have to go in it. Every time you think you draw a card, it's awesome. With formula, you draw two. So those are the first two cards of the extra deck. Don't let anyone forget that. Those are the first two cards and probably the most important cards in the extra deck. So remember that. Trishula and Hyper Librarian. Next, we have three formula. Uh, formula Synchro is really important. Like I said, you combo with Librarian to draw two. Uh, next, we have... Uh, let's see, uh, Sea Dragon Lord Gishiladon. A lot of people cannot actually say his name. I actually can, so uh, props to me, I guess. Really good card, level 5. You actually summon him right after Librarian to set up for more combos. He's really important. Uh, you don't use him to attack or anything. He's just used for his level 5 uh, uh, capabilities. Uh, next, one of the most important cards in the deck, uh, Deloren. Uh, I talked about this card before, uh, the Tiger of the Ice Barrier. It's actually kind of hard to get these days. People have them and they overvalue them uh, because of this deck. And Deloren is extremely important, like I said, with Symbols of Heritage as his formula to re-summon Deloren and set up more combos. So uh, Deloren's in the deck. Uh, next is Bryanek. Bryanek is awesome. You summon Bryanek after you've made your three Delorens. Uh, Bryanek is used, of course, for his pitching ability, but you're pitching stuff back to your hand. So he's in the deck. He's important. Plus, Bryanek is just good in general. You, since you're going to have a big hand, you know, discarding to take advantage of uh, the situation is always important. Uh, next, we have Shooting Star Dragon and Stardust. Uh, you actually end your combo with Shooting Star on the field in attack mode, so obviously you have to have Stardust, unless you're really pro and you somehow summon Shooting Star without Stardust. And if you can do that, please show me how you do it because that is uh, pretty pro if you can do that. Uh, next we have Black Rose. Uh, I don't really use Black Rose that much. Um, it is very playable, though, with Librarian and Formula, so uh, that's why we run it. Uh, Colossal Fighter, I don't have Scrap Dragon on me, but I like Colossal Fighter personally because Colossal Fighter uh, can get over Samurai's in a big way, plus a 2800 attack more than nothing to laugh at, especially when you're going for an OTK. Uh, last two cards, or last card, actually, is uh, Armory Arm. Now, I know that uh, the ruling has changed. You can no longer Colossal Arm your opponent, and I know a lot of people are going to miss that. Uh, these two aren't going to be seen together anymore, and, you know, it's really sad. So, unfortunately, I have to take Colossal Fighter away from Armory Arm right now and put it over here, back where it was originally. So I know that's sad. I know a lot of people are going to remember that part. But uh, Armory Arm's in here just because it's Armory Arm. You know, it has a good effect. And, you know, you equip it to Quality Camp or something, make them 3,800. It's awesome. So that's why you run it. So, yeah, that is the deck, you guys. Uh, this is, like I said, part one of the two-part video and discussion of the deck. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how the combo goes off and uh, how you Trishula spam your opponent and uh, you win, basically. So, uh, yeah, so that's the main deck. Uh, you guys, please continue to subscribe, comment, you know, thumbs up, everything. I really appreciate it. And I'm really hoping that these videos are getting through to people. Um, uh, I like the, I'm hoping the lighting is better on this video, too, than the other one was. I'm just going over the deck list again just to show everybody if you haven't uh, already seen it. It's a very cheap deck. The main deck is maybe $20, if that, which is really cheap these days for a deck. And a lot of stuff is all common, uh, except Gold Sark. Gold Sark isn't worth much. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. The only thing it'll cost you, you know, is the extra deck. But, I mean, a lot of people, you know, invest into a decent synchro deck. I mean, formulas are pretty expensive. DeLoreans are pretty pricey. And the other stuff isn't really that expensive. Uh, so if you can get your hands on it, you know, um, that'd be really good. And like I said, uh, Tech Genesis Hyper Librarian is in this deck, and so is Trishula. I'm not kidding you guys. You will not be able to OTK if you don't have these two cards, especially Librarian. So uh, please uh, know that, uh, note that uh, when you're making this deck, if you do choose to make this deck. If you have any questions, comments, or anything on this first video, uh, please don't ask me, you know, how does the OTK work. I will be discussing that in the next video, which I'll be making very soon. And, uh, yeah, until then, you know, continue to subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching.